it's that time of the year again when we launch our yearly overseas students guide so i'm really excited to share this news with you guys that overseas students guide for 2021 is now available on our website this year's guide feature more than 135 pages of pure content with lots of illustrations and infographics that will make your student life in australia really easy so whether you are planning to study in australia or you are already here in australia this guide will be really useful for you so let's talk a little bit about the guide itself so our first comprehensive overseas student guide was launched in 2018 and since then every year we have been launching this guide with new updates and new design and 2021 is no different we have updated this guide with a fresh content and a brand new design i'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy reading this but to give you a quick snapshot the guide has been divided into four different sections the first section talks about what you need to do before you apply to study in Australia. So in this section, we are covering information about Australia. We'll give you a quick beginner's guide to Australia, why you should consider studying in Australia, about Australian history, weather, and various Australian cities. We are actually covering 10 major cities in this guide. We also talk about some key regional areas where you can choose to study in Australia and also give you details about the education system in Australia, the types of visas you can apply if you are planning to study, the type of scholarships available for international students, the process of student visa application, the various costs you need to be mindful of as an international student and new information regarding COVID-19 student visa updates. In the second section, we are going to talk about what you need to do before you leave for Australia. Now, we don't actually know when you can actually leave for Australia at the moment, hopefully soon. But when you do, these are the things you need to be mindful of and we are covering that in this section. So things like what you need to plan before leaving your home country, what things you should be packing up when you're planning to come to Australia, how to plan for your arrival in Australia, what type of accommodations are available and the costs related to accommodations, learning some Australian English and some tips from the students who are currently studying in Australia. And we are covering those tips with the four student stories that you can read in this book as well. The third section talk about what you need to do after arriving in Australia. So what are the things you should be doing in the very first few days after landing here in Australia? What type of support services are available for you? What's a study environment like in Australia? The information regarding banking, communication, like your phones and internet, Australian culture, shopping, understanding the transport system in Australia, how to work in Australia, how does the healthcare system work, and the safety information for international students. And the next part is about after finishing your study. So once you're graduated, what are the things you can do? So in this section, we are giving you some tips regarding what you need to do on your graduation day. What are your options for further education? If you would like to do that, how you can extend your stay in Australia? What are your options for working after your studies? And if you're planning to go back to home after study, there is a very useful checklist in the guide as well. And we've got some additional resources like a list of the useful contacts that you should be mindful of in Australia and also a comprehensive checklist that talks specifically about everything from the beginning till the end for an international student's life in Australia. I personally love this checklist as it covers everything an international student should know about in one checklist. Now to get this guide for free, all you need to do is click the link in the description, go to the website, put your details, and your guide will be delivered in your inbox. Now sometimes the guide might not appear in your inbox, so make sure to check the spam folder as well, as sometimes it might appear in your spam or junk folder. And I would really appreciate if you can share the link in the description with your friends as well, so that they can go and download this guide from the website. Now once you go and enter your details in the website, we will usually send you a regular monthly updates regarding what's happening in international education in Australia. So signing up to this service will help you keep yourself updated with what's happening in international education in Australia every month. And if anytime you want to unsubscribe, you can do so by clicking the unsubscription button in the emails that we send. Although I must say that our unsubscription rate is pretty low compared to the industry standards as we don't spam you with heaps of emails every single week or every single day. We send only one monthly newsletter that covers everything about international education in Australia in that monthly newsletter. Now other benefit for you and your friends to signing up to this service is that 
you will get access to some of the things nice and early and some freebies as well. So we do send some free resume cover letter templates that are only available for our email newsletter subscribers. So instead of just sharing the PDF with your friends, I highly recommend you to share the link with them so that they can go and sign up themselves and keep themselves updated with what's happening in international education in Australia with our monthly updates. Now we certainly agree that the last 12 months hasn't been the best, but we always look at the positive side of the things and try to cherish these little moments. And we do hope that this effort by our team helps to bring some joy to you. We'll be really excited to hear what are your thoughts on this guide. So make sure to leave your comments in the comment section below about the guide or you can email us your thoughts about the guide as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and the guide and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.